After a basketball brawl at the United Center, tournament organizers shoot for a much more peaceful ending. Good evening. I'm Rob Jones. And I'm Erica Sargent. Those images of the melee outside the United Center were seen around the world on social media. Tonight, they're making up the games that were canceled because of the violence. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno live at Crane High School, where the makeup games are just getting underway. Suzanne. Well, Erica Rob, we just learned that the high school division will not be playing here tonight, but the men and the women's division will be taking place from 6 until 8 this evening. Now, the organizers say the United Center brawl involving children as young as 12 and 13 years old, that the people hurt the most in this were those involved in the program. You have to see the look on those kids' faces. Uh, to appreciate <laughs> what we do. We're here for those kids. Ernest Gates becomes emotional, explaining how this brawl involving about 20 people ended an event benefiting 200 kids at the ninth annual West Haven Safe Summer Basketball Tournament here at the United Center. Gates organized the event where about 4,000 spectators attended. He says he learned after the incident, the scuffle was sparked by social media posts that said, People were going to come to the tournament and disrupt it. To date, we have had zero injuries, zero fatalities, and zero fights, with the exception of the brawl at the United Center this past Monday, which garnered national attention and which brought you here today. Program Youth Director O.G. Eggleston says security was not an issue during the melee. The United Center had easily 15 to 20 security guards manning the area, so it was well controlled. Now back here live at the entrance to the game, you see officers from the 12th Police District there on site. They're also providing extra patrols. Private security is also in place for tonight's event. There are about 1,000 people expected at tonight's games here at Crane High School. Reporting live on the near west side, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.